guys. Well, we're gonna go play cowboy again. What are we doing today, <coughs> boss? Well, you're gonna play cowboy. I'm gonna look for treasure. <laughs> He's a treasure hunter now. He's not a <coughs> he's not a cowboy anymore. If I don't find it, I'll push some cows. But <laughs> that's your goal to look for treasure today. Yeah, and I might go uh, look at some petroglyphs. Oh, maybe we'll find some petroglyphs today. I don't find them. I know where they're at. Oh, okay. We know where they are. Maybe we'll go by and show them off, show show them off to you guys. Maybe there's treasure there. Treasure too, not just petroglyphs. If there's petroglyphs, there could be treasure. <laughs> People were there at one time. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so I have Ghost in the trailer, and <coughs> Henson is gonna be riding Blondie today. So we're just gonna um, move the cows to a fresh pasture and look at some petroglyphs. It's really windy guys. I think the storm is blowing. In. So we're going to get the cows from over there on that side and push them into here. And like I said, sometimes we'll leave the gate open and let them move themselves and it looks like some have already started moving. find the rest. <laughs> Need your gloves? Henson's got to open this gate and there's a wall of tumbleweeds <laughs> on it. Well, if you guys remember Ghost, he's the type of horse that is a little fresh at the beginning of a ride. So I just started out by warming him up. I trotted him both ways, um, made sure he was listening, uh, responding to leg pressure, and started loping him. We loped left and right. He seemed real relaxed and was listening to me, so we just headed on out. All right, everybody, Henson Wynn here again from Navajo, Arizona. Uh, today we're not just cowboying, but we're also going to be doing some petroglyph finding. I'm going to give you my interpretation of some petroglyphs. Right here, there's two dogs barking at each other. You know, one neighbor dog, don't like the other neighbor dog. And right here, there's antelope. As you can see, there's only one horn, so it has to be antelope. Herd of antelope. That's what I'm thinking. But all throughout this uh, rock ridge, there's a bunch of petroglyphs. We'll show you some. And I'm just going to walk my horse through here. Just because it's good for her, too. Right here is proof there was aliens. Look all right there. That's, I don't know what that is. It has to be aliens. They drew aliens because that's what, you know, they saw. Back then, there was aliens, too. But all along these this rock, you can come out and see them if you want. But pretty neat. This is also cool for my horse to walk through. I don't think she's ever really been through a bunch of rock like this. It's good for her. It's also good for Danielle's horse. And, uh, you know, something cool, something different. So, uh, we're not just uh, cowboying, but we're also playing. you got to have some play while you're cowboy. And uh, this is just kind of what we're just messing around doing, me and Danielle. 
checking out these petroglyphs. Yeah, um, there's some pretty cool ones I'll show you. I don't think it was just the adults that did the petroglyphs, and I'll show you why. I think some kids did it too because some of these look like kids drew them. Look like you know my son would be drawing them. Didn't look like too good of artists. There's a wiener dog right there. You see that wiener dog? There's a wiener dog back there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but maybe you can rewind it and see. There's proof that even back then there were wiener dogs. Hey, I'll show you where I think uh, some kids um, did some petroglyphs because uh, they saw their parents do it, you know. I don't even know what I was talking about right there. But right here, I'll show you. There's a, a deal right here. Right here. Looks like a kid drew that. I don't even know what that is, but I think my son could draw that right there. If, he's, if I told him to do something, he'd be like, yeah, I'll, you know. He'd be drawing something like that. And also right here. Looks kind of like a snaffle bit. But like my son would draw something like that too. So this is like the, the wall of the kid drawing maybe. Maybe that little area. It's an eagle probably or a crow. And right here I'd say this guy's like dancing in the moonlight. Check it out. Yeah. Dancing in the dark or dancing in the moonlight. Pretty neat. I don't know if you guys ever seen... Uh, uh, Island Boys. Look up Island Boys on YouTube. This little deal looks like those uh, those kids or those those idiots that are called Island Boys. Or their song is called Island Boys, to me at least. Or it looked like maybe like a, I don't know, a bear print. But pretty cool. Right here, we're about 5,000 feet elevation. We're going to go on top of that, uh, that mesa right there. So it's like about 1,000 feet, I'd say. When you get to the top, you can kind of, you can tell. Right now, you can't really tell. You know, you're like, blah, bull crap, Henson, that's not that high. But yeah, it's high. We're at like five, 5,000. We're going to go all the way up to 6,000. I mean, I kind of had a hard time breathing. My horse did. So definitely about 5,000. I mean, 6,000. Went from five to six. Pretty dang rocky. This is the first time these horses ever been through this kind of rock, I think. Um, At least Blondie. I don't know about Danielle's horse, but Blondie, I never rode her through anything like that. So it was good for her. Now we're going up here for a reason. We're actually going to go do some cowboying, do some work. And when we we're down at the bottom, we saw something look like cattle. So we're going up here. Uh, and this looked like the easiest way to get up. And uh, I bet it probably is. I didn't see any other way that looked better than this. And it was still pretty rough. I mean, some people would be like, ah, oh, no, it's not that rough. But for us, it was pretty rough. We're not used to going up stuff like this. And this much rock. Yeah, Blondie did really good. I was a little bit nervous that she might uh, slip and fall on me. But she's turning into a really good horse. Uh, Danielle's horse, I was nervous for her too because um, yeah, I didn't know if he's been up anything like this. And it did really good. She did really good. And it was a cool ride. I mean, it was a trudge up here. You can see, I mean, we're still going up. So, yeah, when we get to the top, you'll see how far it is down there. I mean, we're way up here. And it was super, super windy. Um, and it was cold, too. As you can see, I'm all bundled up. Because it was windy and cold. So, yeah, we didn't find cattle when we got up here. We actually found horses. There's some horses right there. And then you'll see later on, we found some other horses. But, yeah, check out this view. It's really, really cool. You can see all over from up here. Yeah, check that out. You can see the fence line right there. Um, Danielle's going to zoom in over here. And you can see some cattle. And you'll also see that fence line. See, we're, and we're going to gather up all that right there. Remove it. Put them in, a, in the, the candy top pasture. Now we ended up riding this whole mesa. Looking off the other side. And all we found were these horses. But we ended up taking these horses back down the same way we came up. So, hope you enjoy the video.
tour guide what do we got here Woo! oh there's some more I don't I don't even know what that looks like I mean I know what it looks like but looks like a mama a mama with big feet and a baby more? Looks like Henson found his treasure. Find your treasure? Found treasure today. He said, I'm gonna go look for the other one and you can go push the cows. You might have noticed Henson has a new set of leggings on. He just whipped those up last night. Those are boar hide. Boar hide is a little bit more expensive. They're a smaller hide, so you have to buy two of them to make one set of leggings. Hard to find, a little more expensive, a little smaller. Tougher, I think they're tougher? Yeah, everybody says they're tougher, but. It's harder to see, you can tell that you strains he said the when he's sewing through it, he could tell the the needle that he's using kind of has a hard time to penetrate that leather. So maybe it's true.
What's up? Just riding back to the truck with my treasure. <laughs> You're happy that these cows are in front of me. You're happy that the cows are in front of you. It just happens to be that the cows are in front of me. Oh. Your hair looks cool. <laughs> Thanks. All right, it's about time to start pushing all the cows together. wind feels like it died down just a little bit and it's snack time I got my Nutri-Grain bar good thing I packed it but I didn't pack a bottle of water so I'm a little thirsty but oh well it's not super hot today but it'd be nice to have a bottle of water anyway there's the cows they're toward the other pasture. I wonder if Henson still has his uh, his sheds, his shed. I don't know what you call them. Antlers. <laughs> I guess we'll see when we get back to the trailer. really good today. He hasn't tried anything funky. He's a nice horse, really. Go this way and push some more cows in. Looks like he still has his horns. What do you call those things? What do you call those things that you got? <laughs> For warriors. <laughs> Ready to go to Christmas party? Always. Oh, my phone! Fell out. Shut up. See you later, guys.
for a snack. Oh. Hey, stop. Oh. He's some kind of native. <laughs> Could have been. Are you Navajo like me? Not by blood, only by spirit. 